Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk from the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's soda review is Coca-Cola with coffee. Mocha. Not a lot of fanfare around this new release, um, but the Coca-Cola with coffee brand came out, I want to say last year, and they had hazelnut, vanilla, and dark blend. Mocha is new to that. Um, so we're going to review it here today. Coca-Cola with coffee is a great Coca-Cola taste blended with Rick's, Rick's rich, luxurious coffee. And this is mocha flavored. Let's go with our ingredients. Oh, I enjoyed these, by the way. And chocolate and Coke go together wonderfully. So here's hoping I love this. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, coffee powder, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, caffeine, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate. To protect taste. Sucralose, a sulfame potassium. Uh, the powdered coffee comes from Brazilian coffee beans. Caffeine content is 69 milligrams for every 12 ounces. Please recycle. I like this tall 12 ounce can. Makes me feel fancy. Look at that. Okay. So let's open this up. I can't. There we go. Ooh, it smells, it smells like coffee and Coke with a touch of chocolate. More coffee than chocolate though. Got a new feature here on the show. Let's take a shot. I was supposed to say, let's give it a shot, but that didn't work. We're gonna look at the color of it. Look at that. Yeah. So it's got a nice, uh, even brown coloring to it. Let's, I don't want to spill this. There. The, 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 the flashlight telescopes a bit and it changes the light pattern. But yeah, it's a nice caramel color. Um, carbonation seems about medium and level. There you go. Okay. The coffee's a little stronger than I thought it would be. I was hoping to get a little more of that chocolate taste. Let's see if it builds upon itself. It's there a little bit, but not as strong as I would like it to be. When I hear mocha, I know mocha is like, you know, a chocolate and coffee, and I don't drink a lot of coffee myself, so the actual flavor of coffee is very strong to me, even in small doses. That said, this this needs a touch more mocha for me to really go like, wow. And that again, that might be because I love the mixture of chocolate and coffee, so maybe my hopes and dreams, maybe I've put too much of my hopes and dreams in this can of Coca-Cola with coffee mocha instead of uh, the actual science or the actual definitions of those words. It is good, though. Okay, there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a chocolate build coming up with each sip, which is nice. Um, carbonation levels are I'd say lower than a Coke. You get the you get the fizz, gets a nice mouthfeel. It's not very it's not biting or anything. It's a good combination though. Um, I remember liking I think I like hazelnut the most of the last batch. This is pretty tasty. I still might reach for a hazelnut, but thankfully with each sip I'm taking, my wishes and hopes and dreams are slowly filling this can as that mocha flavor begins to build on itself. Um, yeah, it's relatively smooth. Oh, it's just a little bit of a fizz at the beginning and the end middle part's pretty, pretty uh, fizzless. In terms of mouthfeel, it is, it is it's it's quite tasty. I wish they'd. Uh, it seemed like this silently was released. I kind of wish there was a bigger fanfare for it. Seventy calories in here, by the way. Eighteen grams of sugar, which I think is I've covered that label at this point now. Excuse me. Anyhow. 
You know who else you should excuse? This isn't a good transition at all. TheSodaJerk.net. With over, almost said 500 again. With over 500 soda reviews. That's absolutely true, but it's actually over 950 soda reviews at this point. Over 950 of them. There's a soda you want me to review? Head on over. There's a little link on the side that says everything ever reviewed or every soda reviewed. Click on that link. It'll show you the whole list. It's a very impressive list, if I do say so myself, and I do, because I've reviewed over 700 of the sodas on that list personally. Personally! Anyway, sodajerk.net. I haven't tried them all. Yet.